Hey Pirates, a coding interview is probably the biggest hurdle in anyone's software engineering career. If you want to become a software engineer, you must eventually face a coding interview. If you are already one, you know how challenging it is. As a software engineer who passed numerous fan coding interviews and received multiple offers from Google, Microsoft, and Amazon, I'll share my nine tips on how to ace a coding interview. Moreover, I'll walk you through the entire process using my interview questions as examples, so watch until the end. Before we dive into it. Thanks Akiflow for sponsoring this video. Tip number one, 10, 30, 60 time management. A typical coding interview is about 45 minutes. The expectation is to solve at least two legal style problems within the time limit. Of that, spend 10% on the small talk, 30% on the warm-up question, and 60% on the follow-up question. Generally, most interviewers will break the ice with an introduction and end a few minutes early to leave room for questions. Remember this, try not to waste any time on this useless piece of crap. I repeat, minimize the time spent on worthless talks. This is a technical coding interview where they assess your technical skills. Frankly, this happened to me, but if the interviewer for some reason loses themselves and rambles on, tell them to shut the f up politely and respectfully. Every minute counts in a setting where you only have 15 to 20 minutes to solve a problem. Most of your interview time should be spent on solving problems. Be concise about your introduction and manage your time well. Never lose control of your own interview. Tip number two, ask clarifying questions. When you're given a problem, always begin by asking clarifying questions. Most coding interview problems are purposely vague. Your job as the interviewee is to clear the ambiguities. How? By asking the right questions. Here's the question I got from a fan phone screen. Given a map, how would you count the number of islands? I know this is a famously good question, but notice how I wasn't given the function signature. This is how I tackled it. Is the definition of an island a piece of land surrounded by water? How about I use zero and one to represent water and land? Can I view the map as a 2D array of zeros and ones? Do you see how I turned an open-ended question into a computer science problem? Peace. Another common mistake candidates make is making assumptions. Don't assume anything. Instead, ask. For example, can the input be null or empty? Is the array sorted? If the input is an integer, can it be zero or negative? What about string? Does it only contain lowercase English letters? Identifying the constraints is the key to simplifying your solution. Before we proceed, let me introduce this video's sponsor, Akiflow. Akiflow is a time blocking platform that makes blocking time for all your tasks a breeze. Akiflow's universal inbox gathers tasks from many apps, including Gmail, Slack, Notion, and Jira. Its fully functional calendar blocks time across all apps and provides a comprehensive overview of your day or week. Here are some benefits of using Akiflow. One, integrations. You can see all your tasks in one place. Two, time blocking. Drag and drop tasks in your calendar and they will sync across your apps automatically. Three, labels. Easily organize your tasks with labels. Akiflow is great because it helps you stay organized. With many task items originating from several workspaces, it's easy to get lost in the pool of apps. Akiflow solves this problem by helping you plan your days efficiently. Time blocking can become a great ally when planning your schedule, so try it out for free. Follow my links in the descriptions. Tip number three, LeetCode Cheat Sheet. Use my LeetCode Cheat Sheet to quickly identify the problem type. The Cheat Sheet comprehensively summarizes the most common question patterns and critical concepts. Remember, every minute counts in a coding interview. Taking advantage of my LeetCode Cheat Sheet can help you save precious time tremendously. For example, if the problem states the input array is sorted, it's probably a binary search or a two-pointer problem. Did you know that the in-order traversal of a binary search tree visits each node in a sorted fashion? Use a priority queue if the question asks to find the kth largest or smallest element. The cheat sheet is available for free on my website. Just visit piratekingdom.com. Watch this video for a detailed guide on how to make the most out of it. Tip number four, communicate. The goal of the interview is for the interviewer to collect as many positive signals from the candidates as possible. These signals start with your communication. Think out loud. Don't keep your thoughts to yourself. Share your thought process to help the interviewers follow along. Don't jump straight to coding either. Always confirm your strategy before you do. If you have the right approach, 
then great. If not, well, now you have the chance to correct it. Don't be afraid to make mistakes either. Interviewers are there to help you. If you need time to think, let the interviewer know. It's okay to ask for some quiet time to think. But once you have a solid strategy, break the silence and get ready to present. Remember, your ultimate goal as an interviewee is to win the interviewer over. Bring them to your side by sharing your game plan. Tip number five, know your language. You don't want to walk into an audition with an instrument you're not familiar with. Likewise, walking into a coding interview with a language you're uncomfortable with is asking for trouble. Know your programming language. At this point, the syntax shouldn't be a hurdle. You should be an expert with the coding language of your choice. Did you know that the interviewers can tell how good you are by simply looking at your first few lines of code? Building software is a collaborative effort. Your code should be well organized and readable. You don't have to write the perfect code, but it should capture the proper logical structure. Know your data structures and algorithms. You must be able to argue the reasoning behind your logic. Lastly, Python is the best language for coding interviews. Find out why in this video. Tip number six, verify your solution. Once you finish coding the solution, the next step is verifying it. The best way to do this is by doing a code walkthrough. Come up with a reasonable set of test cases, choose an example, and give the interviewer a visual presentation of how the variables change line by line. Remember to check the edge cases too. In case you discover a bug, correct it. You're not expected to write flawless code, but fixing your mistake is a positive signal. Tip number seven, complexity analysis. Contrary to what many think, time and space complexities are important. Getting them wrong will raise red flags. Again, know your data structures and algorithms. What's the time complexity of quicksort? Binary search? What about adding an element at the end of an array list? How about at the front of the list? Why are hash maps efficient? Understand how each data structure works internally. Know what their operation complexities are. Tip number eight, optimize. A working implementation might be acceptable depending on the company and the role you're applying for. However, some companies like Fang expect their candidates to develop the most optimal solution. Again, a strong foundation in data structures and algorithms is the key here. Understand why some data structures work better than others in certain situations. For example, for example, adding an element to the front of an array list is linear. Use a linked list instead. If the input is sorted, you should use binary search because it's logarithmic. Do you see how crucial data structures and algorithms are? A core foundation in DSA will crack the FANG interview. Tip number nine, leak code. Guys, I didn't make this video to advocate the big tech's malicious practice of using an irrelevant method to evaluate their candidates. I made this video because this is just the way it is. I'm sorry to say this, but no matter what you say or think, the companies are not gonna change their game rules. You're free to apply anywhere, but if you aim to eventually break into big tech, it's better to leak code early than late. Follow my tips on how to use leak code effectively for the best practice plan. If you have a US work authorization, you can also get live practice interviews and learn directly from the professionals with Pathrise. I used to work as a Pathrise mentor, so I know its program works. The first two weeks are free. Links in the descriptions. All right, these are my nine tips on how to ace a coding interview. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Try Springboard if you're looking for an affordable online tech bootcamp with a job guarantee. I used to be a Springboard mentor too, and you can get a thousand dollar discount with my coupon code PirateKing. Make sure to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.